Not out of the hangar. Welcome to the new frontier. Fame and fortune awaits. Bix, we're getting reports of a dogfight at Kappa Base, aligning a Castor Nav Beacon to Battlefield Jump Coordinates. You heard the woman. Get your tail hooked to the jump zone ASAP to warp into battle. chance to really take control of your destiny as commander of your own battleship. Once you're in the jump zone, Acosta will warp you out of Sinley Bay and into the action. Ships 
Swarm locked to target. Hello everybody, my name is Fester Gaming, and welcome to Dreadnought. Uh, you may have seen the, the opening scene as soon as I loaded it up. It kicked me directly into that and then into battle. Uh, very quick low learning curve and then 
we are exactly where you see us at just discovering all the different things for the ships this is the first ship that you start out with and then there's the recruit ship I'm guessing I got that for finishing that first battle and then I also got a couple of ships based upon uh, signing up for the first couple in open beta this is currently an open beta status anybody can sign up for it the link will be in the description down below and let's see what this is the Acosta I'm still learning everything from this I just jumped into it you saw that battle that's my very first play of it it should be primary weapons or secondary weapons the secondary weapons show that you're able to upgrade them but it takes a I'm guessing that is the experience on the ship itself since there's the name and then there's the free experience. Okay, that's our credits, and that looks like it's a gold point. Uh, pretty self-explanatory to anybody that's watched any of the World of Warships or played any of that. Looks like uh, here is the missile system I was using. Tempest missiles. Wait a minute, there's Tempest missile, Missiles, and then there's a Torpedo Salvo. Your ship's secondary module complements your primary, adding another layer to your combat style. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, that's interesting. Then go perimeter guns. Perimeter modules affect the area around your ship. Use them for extra defense, to attack nearby enemies, or to support allies. Okay, maybe that's what shoots down those missiles. It comes in. The module Use your reboot. internal module to enhance systems, such as movement and weapons. This will give you the edge in critical moments. Okay, I'm guessing that's what the, that was when I was pressing E to change things up. But it looks like you're able to change all this stuff up with research or what have you to make it more unique to your fighting style. Okay, what is up here? Career process. Oh, okay, there is some um, for doing the tutorial. There's that. Buying a tier 2 ship. I didn't buy any tier 2 ship. I guess that, that probably triggered because I got those free ships, so claim that. Let's look through the tech tree. Looks like we have three different groups or corporations or nations or whatever you want to call it so Jupiter Arms Jupiter Arms Jupiter Arms battleships are the cutting edges of humanity's battleship technology built to be flexible to support different needs and vital to the success of any warships mission Jupiter Arms technology is unmatched in its versatility. Jupiter Arms battleships. They like to say Jupiter Arms. I think I think that I think it, that's the group that that's from. It's Jupiter Arms. Uh, are chiefly generalized compared to Akula Vector. They're faster, whereas the super high techno tech of Burion leaves them far behind on speed. The armor is lighter than the Akula Vert Vector. Akula Vector, that's it. Armor. But more robust than the Okay, so this is definitely the your different fighting styles, I'm guessing, of how you want to battle. My best guess is these right here are the definition or you know the the symbol to let you know what it is. Uh, that's a destroyer, destroyer, corvette, yeah, okay, that's what it is. These little emblems right there are destroyer. That's an artillery cruiser. Well, seems like Fun little run. Oh, okay. I didn't get those because of the sign up. These were all the first tier of each of the corporations. So let's see what 
The Akula Vector says. The Vector battleships are the workhorse of the battlefield, built to last. These ships are generally the most resilient of all manufacturers. Okay, so these are being called manufacturers. They're not corporations or countries or anything like that. The key characteristics of Akula Vector battleships are durable. Durability slower than Juniper Arms or Boreon. They excel in taking a beating. Their armor is generally hard, making it them excellent damage absorbers in the battlefield. Okay. Let's just go just kick over to the Boreon real quick. Battleships are very sleek, given the impression of being magical. Built using reverse engineering technology from transhumans. These ships are generally the fastest and lightest ships on the battlefield. The key characteristics of Boreon battleships is maneuverability, faster than Juniper Arms and Akula Vector. They excel in bobbing and weaving. Their armor is generally lighter, however, making them delicate speedsters, hard to hit, but if they get hit, they quickly s succumb. Okay. And that's our different techs. I think in the next video, I will go ahead and try to take these out. Uh, in between the videos, also see if I'm able to use my joysticks on this for being able to actually fly them you know, on properly like a spaceship. So we'll check that out. My name is Fashion Gaming. If you like what you saw, please hit that like button and we'll get some more of these up on the channel. If you're not already subscribed, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, click that bell to where you get notified when there's a new upload. I know I've been a little hit or miss right now on the uploads, but a lot of stuff going on in Texas, if you didn't remember. Uh, I've got a hurricane hitting and then some stuff going on in the personal life. I'll try to get some more videos out, but until then, y'all be safe and have a great day.